Travis Gibson, the edge rusher out of Tulsa, is the selection. Several of you were correct on that one. A potential sleeper here for the Chicago Bears as an edge rusher. I, I know there were some fans of Gibson out there. Interesting size, interesting athletic ability, 6'3", 261, 469, 40. He was a 205-pound 205 205 freshman, bulked up at about 60 pounds at Tulsa. I had listened to that as a sleeper. At pick 155, I'm on board with this selection. He was number 144 overall on my board. He's going to be an edge. He's the number three edge, I think, long term behind Robert Quinn, behind Khalil Mack as well. I think that that's a key thing right there for, uh, for the Chicago Bears. He is raw. He's going to need time. But he's good ball skills, eight forced fumbles over the past three years. He doesn't really know yet what to do in terms of a pass rush plan. But at this point, the Bears going back with some more value, I guess, in terms of the best players left on the board. They get some more pass rush help, which quite frankly, beyond Khalil Mack last year, they didn't really have a bunch of great options. So Travis Gibson here is the pick for the Chicago Bears. Interesting move. It looks like that the Vikings got a future fourth round pick. I like this move for Minnesota. You get a future pick. Now you had so many picks for Minnesota. There was no way you were going to be able to get all these guys on your roster. You move up next year significantly to pull this one off. He's number 144 on my board, so I really like that move. So shout out uh, Rob Downs, who was right that this was a future draft pick in the end. So the Bears get Travis Gibson. The Vikings get a future fourth round pick. Of course, we don't yet know where they'll be. And I think this gives the Vikings three fourth round picks next year as we welcome on Harrison Graham. Harrison, welcome back on the show, my man. Thanks, Tom. Uh, yeah, been a busy day three of the NFL draft. Travis Gibson is the pick for the Chicago Bears. Interesting selection here, uh, Tom, as they go the yeah, edge. Yeah, what do you make of this? Out of toll. It's not really a need. It's not. Uh, this feels like a BPA pick. They f they probably feel highly yeah, about. I, I wonder if they, I wonder if they, if they had like a flat early fourth or even a late third round grade on them. Maybe they. I guess they're just not going to worry about offensive line in the draft. I mean, it, it appear, apparently that's that really is, weird to me. By that the way, that is not the route they have gone. They went tight end with Cole Komet, obviously Jalen Johnson, which I love that pick. I think that was a really good pick. At pick number 50. I didn't mind Komet. I just think offensive line is a major need. They did bring in a new offensive line coach. Maybe they feel good about Juan Castillo. Maybe they still have a you know something up their sleeves in free agency. But there's not very many options left. Bit surprised about the Gibson pick, but to me, this feels like they had him high on their board. I think they absolutely did. All right, the Reds.